Hey there, Dr. Craig Hazel here from Synergy Chiropractic, a creating wellness center in Canada, Ontario, Canada. Today what I want to do is I want to show you a stretch that you can do for the outside corner of the knee. Oftentimes people will report that they have patellofemoral syndrome or chondromalacia patella, maybe even runner's knee. And what they describe it as is an intense sharp pain on the outside corner of the knee. This is oftentimes referred to as IT band friction syndrome as well. What I want to do is I want to show you a stretch that you can do that is going to be, bar none, one of the more effective things to take care of this. Now, what I am going to tell you first is if it isn't moving, get it moving. So what I mean by that is <clears throat> the best thing you can do is try to foam roll the IT band and the tensor fascia lata muscle at the top. Secondly, you can try and smash or use a, a lacrosse ball down around the corner to try and break up any of those adhesions within the connective tissue. But here's how the stretch works. What you're going to do is you're going to lay down on your side. You're going to reach back and grab your ankle. The whole key to this stretch is the position. What you have to do is you have to pull your knee up towards your nose, roll your knee all the way back like a big arch, all the while keeping traction on your ankle. You'll notice how high my knee sticks up in the air, and that's because what I've done is I've rolled the tensor fascia lata muscle up and over, and the IT band up and over the greater trochanter of the hip. And what I've done now, you can see my knee is, ice, is down in that low position. As I bring my knee up and rotate it all the way up and back, now I've got tension built into the system all the way down the outside of my hip, down into the outside corner of my knee. I don't want to pull my ankle up and I don't want to let my ankle drop. I want to keep my hip, my knee, and my ankle in a nice straight line. Next, I'm going to put my other foot up on top of the knee and as I pull back on my ankle, I'm going to push down with my other foot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this for at least a minute. I like 90 seconds, in fact, because what you're doing here is you're not stretching muscle. You're stretching connective tissue on the outside corner of the knee. So as you stretch that, you're going to stretch the IT band insertion as well as the lateral retinaculum of the knee. And what that's going to do is it's going to start to free up that edge of the patella, the kneecap, so that it tracks properly through the, the uh, distal part of the femur, okay? So again, the whole key to it is get knee up to your nose, rotate the hip all the way up and back so it's big arching motion. As you pull back on your ankle, you're going to push down on the knee. Again, you can do some appropriate neuromuscular facilitation with this. You can, you can try to extend your leg at the same time as try to lift your leg up for 10 seconds and then relax, pull, and force down that stretch a little bit more for 20 seconds, 10 seconds of contraction, 20 seconds of relaxation. Unbelievable stretch. Give it a shot. Leave me some comments below. Again, Dr. Craig Hazel from Synergy Chiropractic.